What's going on guys, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be doing a review of Rike. If you haven't heard of Rike, it's a type of project management software, and I'll put a link to it in the description. Now let's get right into the review. Alright guys, as you can see, once you sign up for Rike, this is the first thing that you're going to see. This is the dashboard tab, and this is where you'll find your personal dashboard. As for me, I have three widgets open right now. My tasks that are in progress, completed, and on hold. You can 100% customize them, move them around, rename them, change what the title is and everything. Um, in the upper right corner, you'll see a new widget tab. You can actually click on that and add as many as you want. Um, for me personally, I like to keep it a little bit more organized so I only have three, but some people like to have, you know, 20, even 25. I've seen people with up to 35 different widgets on their uh, dashboard because that's how they like to do it. Some people like to make theirs really big, some people like to make them really small and accessible, kind of like apps on an iPhone, but um, that's how I like to keep my dashboard, but um, that's basically all there is towards um, Reich dashboards. You can completely customize them, you can even make team ones as well, but um, that's the... That's one of the defining parts of Rike is that they have completely customizable dashboards that are personable and um, all your coworkers can have different ones and you can have one as well. All right, so the next thing I wanna get into is how to add other users to your Rike account or to your Rike workspace. All you guys gotta do is go to the top right corner, go ahead and click on the drop down bar, click on account management, and there you go. Here in the users tab, it is super, super easy to add new people. All you have to do is click on add new users and type in the emails of any other person that you want to add and they'll be automatically added into. They will get an email from Rike and all they have to do is click on that email, sign up and they will automatically be added or if they already have an account, then it'll ask them to pair it with you and then you'll all be in the same workspace. You can also create other groups so that you can add other people into them. If you're interested in doing that, say you have a very big company, you have people in an IT department, you have people in a video editing department, you wanna diversify these people and put them into different groups so they're not all scattered everywhere. All you would have to do is go ahead and go to the group icon, click on that plus, name it, and then give it a color if you want. Um, once you've done that, you can automatically add people into that that you've already invited, or you can even send them an email again if someone hasn't already signed up. So the next thing I want to briefly talk about is the inbox tab. Basically, this is like a notification center for Rike. You'll get notified whenever someone adds you to a project, whenever you add someone else to a project. Basically, any time that you are working with other peers, it'll notify you and make sure that you know exactly what's going on, just so that you have a log of all the events that are happening on Rike. It helps you keep very organized and it's very helpful because Rike also sends out periodic messages from their bot, letting you know when there's new updates, etc. Additionally, from this main page, if you want to make another task, all you have to do is click on the plus right there, and you can name your task whatever you want, and then submit it. It'll automatically show up under your to-do list or dashboard and calendar as well, and it's really easy to do, and you can always do it from any tab that you're in. So the next tab I want to talk about is the My To-Do tab. Basically, it just lists all your tasks, and you can choose what order that you want to see them in. You can order them by priority, you can order them alphabetically, you can order them in pretty much any way possible, you can order them by due date or anything like that, how long it is, how short it is, and I think it's very, very useful because I remember one time I had no idea when something was due or what time I needed to get it in. I had so many tasks to do and I felt very overwhelmed, but all I had to do was go into the My To Do tab, list it by priority, it showed me all the things that were due the soonest and I was able to bust them out and get them done. Um, my boss was super thankful that I had this um, like Rike app open because um, it really helped me stay organized and on top of my work. So I highly recommend the My To Do list because um, you can sort your tasks in any form that you want to and you can get them done quick and you know exactly when they're due. Next up is the calendars tab. I really, really like the calendars tab because it helps me keep on track and I know exactly when everything is happening. Similar to the my to-do list, the calendars tab lists out any events or any projects that are due or upcoming. Um, as you can see, I have a couple of projects that are listed over here. You can automatically edit them just by dragging them around and you can even filter out which ones you wanna see as well. If you filter them under, say, personal, then it'll only show your personal events. If you filter them by team, you'll only see team events. And it's super easy to stay organized and being on top of your work. Last but certainly not least is the reports tab. Now, the reports tab is very, very helpful for any kind of analytics. You can make custom reports, weekly projects, or, uh, you can make graphs based on overdue tasks and projects due. It's super, super helpful because basically you can graph out any kind of analytics that you have for your group 
and it is very easy to set up. All you have to do is click on any one of the templates and it automatically sets it up for you. All you have to do is drag in some tasks and it'll show you exactly how everything is organized and structured. Uh, me personally, the thing I like to use the reports for the most is by um, using the weekly project thing so that I can look at all the projects that I've done in a week and how I've either progressed or regressed in that time. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching my review on Rike. I think this is one of the best services out there for project management online. It is super helpful and I've been working with my peers as well so long using Rike. I think it's an awesome software and I really do recommend it. Make sure to check out that link in the description to sign up yourself. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and thank you so much for watching.